What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to the channel, guys. So today we have some updated news for Diablo 4 and I kind of just wanted to go over everything that we have here for your guide to Diablo 4 open beta. So let's go over a lot of things. There's a lot um, to unpack here. So I'm going to try to go over at least the important things for you guys because it's two days away for the beta. So if you have not pre-ordered Diablo 4, make sure to go do that. That's the only way to access it for this weekend. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait for the open beta, which is going to be March 24th to the 26th, which will be on the following week. So let's go over some uh, details here. They have some focuses here, but I just want to point out a lot of things. So during both the open beta and early access weekends, players are going to be able to explore Diablo 4. Uh, we're going to be able to do the prologue and the entirety of Act 1, which is awesome. We get the first zone, uh, Fractured Peaks, and we get to do everything in Act 1, which is just really, really cool. So they also limit us. Um, for both uh, open beta and early access weekends, your character can only up level up to level 25. So if you guys don't know already, um, level 50 is one part of the cap and then you can go up to level 100. So being able to go through like a quarter of the way of the leveling up process is really, really cool. So I just want to put that stuff in there so that way you guys, you know, when you're playing, you don't get discouraged because you can only go so far. Now, uh, it also looks like they have not said anything about being able to keep characters once the game fully releases i highly doubt it but just in case if you guys were wondering they haven't said anything about that uh, i just don't think it's going to happen so um early details as you guys know starting in two days uh the early access beta begins at 9 a.m pst and concludes on sunday at 12 p.m ps or ptd pdt and then the same thing on the following weekend so uh, if you want to uh, download it uh, early, guys, you get to do that. Um, that's going to happen at the same time. You'll be able to download those early. So that way, when it actually goes live, you'll be good to go. So during early access, you'll have access to only three of the five classes. We're only going to be able to get Barbarian, the Rogue, and the Sorcerer. So choose wisely. So for all of you guys that have been a part of the stream, and we stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday here on YouTube. So make sure to check us out. Um... I really am excited to play the Druid. The Druid is the main character class that I wanna play, but because we only get these three, I'm most likely gonna be playing Rogue for all you guys out there. Once the open beta uh, weekend comes around, the following weekend, you'll be able to access the Druid and the Necromancer. So first weekend you get the main three, and then the next weekend you get the other two. So if you're like me and was excited to play Druid this weekend, you're not gonna be able to, you have to wait one more weekend. Uh, you can make 10 characters per Battle.net account, and after reaching 25 with one character, we recommend you try repelling demonic hordes with additional classes. So that's really nice. So decimize, decimate, decimize, decimate demons with co-op. So now for a long awaited time, we've never had co-op with Diablo. It's always been either console or PC, and now you have co-op between the two, which is like a cross, cross play, if you will. Um, I don't think I have anybody that plays uh, on console, but you can co-op and, and cross-play, so that's really cool. Uh, Discovered Fractured Peaks, which is our first zone. Okay, so there's a lot of cool things in here that you can do um, and, and just kind of explore, which is really, really nice. You're going to be able to go through the cities and, and just kind of expand on the entire zone, which is really, really cool. And this is going to be great because it's going to kind of give you the, the big picture of how all of the zones are going to necessarily work. So it'll be really interesting. Uh, you have the main quest line, guys, which is going to be full of multiple acts and quest line markers. You got side quests, you got a woodsman side quest, and then the nearby altars of Lilith. Also in here, you have a legion of events, guys, um, as were as well as world and world events and legion events. Uh, these events are usually marked on your map and sometimes revealed after conquering a stronghold. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to kill a stronghold in the beta. I'm assuming you are because we're going to get one big world boss. Uh, you also have dungeons, which are the cornerstone of Diablo 4, which we've always had. Uh, or excuse me, of the Diablo universe. So uh, we get to explore some dungeons and recommend their level are displayed on the map. So not only are we going to get dungeons, guys, but we're going to get some that are going to be uh, tough to fight. And these are really good for racking up useful gear um, and, and better gear, I should say. But the biggest thing, which is I was really curious about, is they're bringing the massive world bosses to the beta. We're going to get access to one, which is a Shava, a uh, Whirlwind of Pestilence. Um, uh, has emerged in the Fractured Peak. So we're going to be able to fight this. 
okay which is really really cool so um you're gonna be able to do this with a lot of people and we talked about in our stream that we're gonna be i'm gonna be fighting these world bosses with you guys now the world bosses for the uh open or excuse me the early access this weekend are at 10 a.m 12 p.m and 10 p.m okay and midnight so it spawns four times each of the weekends okay so you got march 18th and then march 25th those are both saturdays so you're going to be able to fight the world boss four times uh each time which is going to be really really good great so for me i work saturday so everybody we're going to be fighting at 10 p.m and midnight but then the following saturday i'll be doing all four so i'm going to be able to do six out of the eight which is really really cool um, so be on the lookout for that. And then you have the early cash and unique uh, rewards. So it, depending on which one you got, you get the cosmetic items, this cute little wolf. Um, and then it has some specs and stuff. So, and then uh, it has the early download. So to download this early, it begins Wednesday at 9 a.m. PT, PDT. And then early open beta is March 22nd at the same time. So you're going to be able to download this early, like I said, so that way you can go out and just um, as, soon as, as soon as it's live, you can start playing. So and then it has some information on how to do the beta codes and stuff like that. So uh, afterwards, there'll be a live stream March 24th to kind of the devs are going to be going over a lot of stuff that we may not understand or just go into further detail about that, which is great. And then you get the statue. That's really cool. So that's just kind of an update to what's coming to the beta guys that happens in two days. I'm going to be playing my face off and I'm going to be playing a lot with the community members of our stream. So make sure to be there for that. Like the video if you guys did enjoy it and found the information useful. Subscribe if you're new. And again, guys, we stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So make sure to check us out here on YouTube. And as always, stay gaming. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.